Okay, story of silk. Let's see what we've got. Eight of these, nine of these. That's very nice to see. And then for true, false, not given. So that would be very nice to see if you see that in the test. Let's start scanning. There's lots of nice stuff to scan for. I'm going to go quite quickly. Those three, pretty straightforward. This is quite interesting because they're very similar and there's nothing really strong here. So you should look at the difference between them. I would focus in on those. And then definitely the only, but be careful of only, they can paraphrase only as well. Nothing there. That's great. Farmers, taxes, purposes, possibly. Again, easy to paraphrase. And let's just find that. That'll help us. Silk Road, great. West is nice because you can't really paraphrase West. Precious metals, eggs. Well, let's just find Constantinople. We can sort out the rest later. Middle Eastern Europe don't need it. 20th century. Right, so go and find those. All right, so let's have a quick word about that. Um, I didn't go there and there and there and there and there to try and find all of them one by one. You had to just try and find these easy ones, that, and then I went and found that. And then I went back and found a few of these. I didn't even find all of them. Then I went and found that, and I saw Westwood. Then I found that, then I found that. So really go for those numbers first, find the easy things first, and then scan backwards from there. Um, I had a bit of a problem here because the emperor's wife is before 3000 BC, but then um, I noticed that they talk about she a lot. And so any one of these could be she, 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 she. So I've got a feeling that one is going to be a bit more difficult. And big surprise, it's the first one again. And I know IELTS likes to make the first one difficult. So I'm not going to start with that one and waste my time. I'll get to it later. I did manage to find fibers, which is quite useful. Uh, I found it over there. Um, this only and produce only and where, I didn't really scan for them so much because they can paraphrase those, but I did find farmers' taxes that was over there. So I know the only and all of that is over there. I'll get to that later. Uh, then the rest was quite straightforward. Actually, immediately I saw Westwood right next to Silk Road when I was scanning. Um, Silk Road was there, Westwood was right there. I might even just start with this one because I know exactly where that is now. And 550 AD, quite easy to find. 20th century wasn't so easy, but I saw 19th century. So I knew it was going to be coming soon after 20th century there. Right. Um, let's just take a look at the grammar. There's some very important grammar in this one that I want you to see, please. Okay, noun, we don't know anything. Countable, uncountable, single plural, doesn't matter. That's very nice, okay? We're looking for a singular noun there. Not many of those. This tells us something. Please notice that. What does it tell us? This is plural. This is exactly the same thing. This is plural. A form of can be anything. Evidence found of... Well, these can't be singular. They can be uncountable or plural. Same thing there, but that again, that verb helps us. They hide, it means they, it means that that is plural, not countable, not singular. I mean, sorry, not uncountable, not singular. This and other fibers, um, we can't get anything from that verb because this is the plural, it's two things. So this could be plural, could be single, and this would still be cause. So unfortunately, that doesn't help us. But yes, the grammar has helped us in four of these. Single, plural, plural, plural. Great. So, which one should we start with? Well, look, I like this one, but let's go and start. I, I, I want to just leave that for now, come back to it later. I like this, ah, uh, because I saw fibers. The emperor's wife invented uh, something to pull out silk fibers. So, that's all you really needed to know. Devised, you can guess, devised means invented, and there is your, what did she invent, and there is the infinitive afterwards, to draw the fibers, to draw means to pull. Um, it's really straightforward, even if you don't know a lot of these words, 
But we are only allowed one word, remember, so you must drop the adjective and you must keep the noun. Right, now this, I'm, I'm also guessing it's going to be a little bit difficult, but we're getting some help from these two. So let's see what we can see. Only some plural thing were allowed to produce the silk and only some plural thing were allowed to wear the silk. So, can you see only or can you see produce and wear? Now, I do see only over there. So let's look at that one. Only royal royalty were, there's a, a good clue, entitled to have clothes made of silk. To have clothes made of silk. That's not produced, so it's not that only. So I'm looking for another only. And they try and catch you here. They say the peasants were also allowed to wear the silk. So many students will put royalty and then peasants and it's a trap they're trying to catch you why because there's no only here we need that word only and anyway this doesn't mean produce the silk it means wear actually so we sh needed to go back can you see the synonym for only a lot depended on this and that's it over there solely means only it's a very good word soul means the only one solely means only so the farming there's our produce they were responsible for growing harvest and weaving that's all produce who the women were responsible for that again there's our were so now this is a little bit difficult because these are two plurals with no s there are two irregular plurals but you can tell that they were plurals because they used that verb there and they used that verb there. So it must be a plural. So those are your two answers for those two. They tried to trick you, I know, using that word there and using the only there. But you must really focus on getting all of the meaning. If that's not there, then it's not there. You can't just add it. So this was women... And this was royalty. I was trying to trick us there. Silk as a form of, let's find the uh, taxes. So remember the taxes, remember that the taxes is an example. So this is probably an example of what? Something in the previous sentence. Silk was so prized that it was also used as a form unit of, and there's our answer, end of the sentence. Uh, for example, government were paid their salary and farmers paid their taxes. Currency m means money. I think the important there, thing to note there was this was for example, but they didn't mention for example. You needed to recognize that this sentence was an example sentence of the previous sentence. Evidence found of something made from silk around 160 AD. So something was made from silk. The earliest indication of silk paper being used was discovered. Fishing lines, bowstrings, musical instruments, and were all made using silk. Okay, but we remember we need 168 AD. This is not 168 AD. We don't know when this is. We must look at this sentence here because that's the 168 AD sentence. He died around there. So something that was made from silk. And it's just a kind of a grammar structure that they use. If I say a wooden table, I can also say a table made from wood. A glass window, a, a window made from glass. So silk paper means paper made from silk. Perhaps some students wanted to go um, somewhere here because of that word made. But then how can you choose one of these? There's three here. You had to go to this next sentence and get the paper from that sentence. Oh, sorry, there's four there. Right, this should be easy. Take silk westward, bring back something and precious metals. We know exactly where that sentence is. They took the silk westwards and they're bringing gold, silver and wool. And I hope you know what a metal is. A metal is iron, copper, all of those things. You must know what metal is. Gold is a metal. Silver is a metal. Precious means it's worth a lot of money. And so what is left? Wool. Wool is the thing, the stuff that we get from sheep to make clothes. So that's not a metal. 
so we must choose will right uh, again we're looking for a plural who hid the eggs in canes and took them to Constantinople in 550 AD there's eggs there's Cain so we're in the sentence here monks working for the Emperor Justinian remember we're looking for a plural smuggle the eggs inside the canes there's only one plural in that whole sentence that we don't use canes is in the question eggs is in the question there's only one other plural and so it's monks and so the grammar really really helped you there if you knew you were looking for a plural then it became very easy there was only one possibility something and other fibers caused a decline in production now it was a little bit difficult because if you were looking for a decline in production you wouldn't really see it so they there's our word fibers man-made fibers and it's quite a tricky way that they've done it they've given this is the group and then they've given nylon as the example so another way of saying this is that nylon and other fibers uh, were used and that led to a decline in production it was quite tricky because decline wasn't there but I've actually found most of my students can get that one it was possible there to get stuck looking for this decline right then we just go back to this one something fell into the Emperor's wife's something so you have to kind of read this whole thing follow the story what you're really looking for is the verb it fell can you see anything that means it fell pause the video if you can't somewhere in here is a verb that means fell and it's over there to fall to land to land like an airplane lands it, it hits the ground so that's it's a difficult paraphrase but anyway that's the paraphrase for fell the cocoons fell where into the tea the tea belonged to the wife you could also be looking for things that belong to the wife because we had this apostrophe s here all right all in all not so bad they did throw us a few tricks but the grammar could have helped us and also if you just keep focused and don't let them trick you if you want to find produce you must find the synonym for produce if you want to find only you must find only all right so not too bad but I think maybe six some of you could even get eight out of eight there not too bad but six would have been a good score right true false not given next all right let's look at these true false not given uh, let's start with our circle so pause the video and make a circle around the words that you think that IELTS is targeting uh, you know what I mean by now so pause the video now right so that's the words I think they're targeting and um, this one it's quite clear that by now you should start to see that IELTS loves this um, many and most thing in true false not givens they also love the only only and certain here kind of go together they s have similar meanings only specific ones not all of them only specific ones this one there wasn't really anything it's one of those um, yes or no things not yes or no but it's just like did they or didn't they you can with these kind of ones you should have focus on the verb and say did they spread it or did they not spread it and then um, again majority has the same meaning as most both of them mean more than 50% so IELTS loves that word as well with true false not given right and then if we go and um, find where they came from again it's pretty friendly this one there's quite a lot to scan for first of all I remember where gold was and Silk Road so that was up here there we just spoke about gold and the Silk Road so we're going to start here in this paragraph then tradesmen and Silk Road certain sections maybe maybe I don't see it so let's continue because there are some other ones Byzantines and the West Byzantines is there and I don't see the West maybe uh, this is the West yeah I think that's the West yeah Italy Europe that's all the West 
um, and China. Could also look for Silk Yarn. So they start talking about China over there, China over there. Where's Silk Yarn? Silk Yarn is there. Right. So, all pretty straightforward up until now. Now let's just do them. Gold was the most valuable material transported along the Silk Road. Was gold the most valuable? I remember they used a word for valuable called precious. They used that in the questions. So, can you see most valuable, most precious anywhere? And there it is over there. It was kind of a vocabulary thing. If you knew that precious was valuable, then you were okay. So it was called the Silk Road after its most precious commodity. That means silk was the most precious commodity. If you name something after something. So, oh, and anyway, they help you here. The silk was considered to be worth more than gold. So silk was the most precious commodity, the most valuable commodity, not gold. Commodity is material, so that must be false. Silk was the most valuable material. Tradesmen only went along certain sections of the Silk Road. I think this is one of the more difficult ones. You need to find tradesmen. It was again quite a vocabulary issue. It just shows you how true, false, not given depends a lot on vocabulary a lot of the time. Anyway, can you see tradesmen? If you can't, what else could you scan for? I guess went certain sections of the Silk Road. Parts. And there's tradesmen over there. Okay, you didn't know that, but maybe that you could have done as went. And certain sections, the whole route. We're talking about the route when we talk about the sections. It's the sections of the route. So, few means not many. Tradesmen went the whole route. Few went the whole route. Uh, actually, I should have put a circle here as well. I didn't even see that. Most went on certain, certain sections. I'm actually going to put that there. Sorry, that should have been there. Most went along certain sections. So, not many of them went along the whole thing. That means... Most of them did not go along the whole thing. And that means most of them went along sections, parts of the route, not the whole thing. Think about it. It should be quite straightforward. Uh, that means that that is true. Not many of them went along the whole thing. Most of them went along parts of, of the road. Right, uh, did the Byzantine spread the practice? This one was a difficult one, probably the most difficult one in this whole reading. What do they say about the Byzantines? And it's this sentence over here. The Byzantines were secretive. That means they didn't share their technology, their secrets. Then the Arabs came, and the Arabs took it all to the West. But the Byzantines were secret. That means that they kept their knowledge. They did not spread this knowledge across the West. It was the Arabs that spread the knowledge across the West. And then finally, Silk Yarn makes up the majority. Remember, this is more than 50% of silk exported from China. So, China is the world's biggest producer of those two things. But which one is more, raw silk or silk yarn? This is just talking about silk generally. So now we have two kinds of silk, raw silk and silk yarn. Which one is more? We see that China produces the most general silk in the world, but which one of these is 50%, more than 50%? Is it more raw silk or is it more silk yarn? We don't know. Just to repeat, they're talking about general silk there, and general silk can be raw silk and silk yarn. And the question is, uh, is saying that of the general silk, more than 50% is silk yarn. But we don't know that. We don't know what percentage silk yarn, what percentage raw silk. So not given. Okay, not a bad reading at all. I think you could have done pretty well on that one.